sinking further How much deeper till I greet the sea Stop treading water Amalgamation what is up my shred heads welcome back to the channel on today's video i actually got a new seat i'm going to show you guys how to install but before we get to the install if you guys want to support my channel make sure you guys check out all those links down below i could get you 200 dollars off any huck model e moped that you want make sure you use code shreddy mcskate all one word 200 dollars off and if you guys want 100 dollars off any super 73 e-bike make sure you check out that link down below check out that link for the rider bag that saved my back on that crazy accident make sure you get that spine protector in there because that will definitely definitely help you out one day um, use code shreddy 10 for 10 percent off this thing is awesome super highly visible at night and day with the color and everything and they might be coming out with new colors here pretty soon so be on the lookout for that so i already got started and removed this seat from the bike so this one was weird it had the nuts on the actual seat so to get to the seat make sure you remove this little guy boom and then this part will lift up for you check that out in there that looks pretty sick nice and clean looking right so once you get that out here is the new seat Thanks to all the guys at Huck Cycles for sending me out this awesome seat for Christmas. I really appreciate it. This seat is a little bit different. The nuts actually, the bolts actually go inside there instead of like it being reversed like on that one. So with this seat, we're gonna be using an 11 millimeter socket. I'm using this to kind of speed up the process. So it's a little bit harder to get to the bottom screws. So I got a little, uh, I guess, extender like snake type dealy. <laughs> So we're gonna use that also. First step, kinda wanna lift that bad boy up, right? This is gonna be hard one-handed. And kinda line it up. And make sure it's all the way back like that, right? And then my first step is I'm gonna get one, two, three, four screws in there, not all the way tight. So we'll get to that now, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got all four in there, just tightened by hand. So it's still kind of loose, so make sure you slide it all the way back before you tighten it. So we'll start with one. That's one. And then I'll go back through with the ratchet and tighten it by hand. Two. I don't know how this one will fit right. Let's see. There we go. Oopsies. All right, we'll mess with that one with the ratchet. All right, so now I'm going to go back with the ratchet, tighten everything by hand. Yeah, just make sure you do not over tighten these. go make sure it doesn't slide around that is in there guys just so you guys know the seat can slide out here so make sure you kind of push that forward that way it'll even up with this hole here so you get that right that's nice and uh lined up so i'll put this bolt in my pocket and then screw it in there by hand nice and tight there we go. Now let's check out that seat. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Let's check out the old one on top. See the difference in look? That is pretty badass. I really dig it. Let me know what you guys think about the new seat down in the comments. I kind of like the all black that goes with the green. All right, guys, so let's go test it out. All right, guys, I'm on the new sexy seat, and so far it feels a lot more comfortable than the last seat I had on here. It feels a lot like squishier, softer, and there, there seems to be more padding on, on it. 
And what's cool about it is like there's more padding back here. So if you want to get down low and get some speed, you can sit on there. Oh, wow. I'm really digging the squishiness of this. I know you guys see my new gloves. So I finally got the heated gloves for Christmas. I'll be doing a review about these pretty uh, soon. I'll let you guys uh, check these gloves out. They're pretty awesome. They feel great. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say anymore because I don't want to give up too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely loving this seat, guys. I'm so surprised I got this for Christmas. Uh, I guess Huck must have contacted my girlfriend or something. I actually don't even know the story behind it. But uh, when I opened this on Christmas Day, I was so surprised and so happy because this is a seat that I've been wanting for a while. I'm definitely super stoked. It's super windy today, so I'm not gonna do a super long ride. I'm gonna keep it pretty short. Just see how the seat feels. So far, the initial impressions on the seat, I give it a 10 right now. We'll see how it feels after maybe like three or four hours of riding, like long, long group rides or long day rides. I'll be doing a mode one range test here pretty soon once it gets a little bit warmer. It's been pretty cold around here lately. Uh, today is about 52 degrees, but it's gonna get a lot colder during the rest of the week. Guys, I cannot wait till spring comes. I really, really miss the heat. I was definitely not made for this cold. And it's just been windy a lot. It's been really, really windy every day down here at the beach. As you guys can hear. Just so you guys know, I always put it on mode one once I go on the bike trails or any kind of walking trails. I do not want to go fast around here. Yeah, I'm loving this seat, the bumps. I don't even feel it. Nice and squishy. It's like sitting on a pillow. I actually like when, I, when I'm in mode one, I usually help the bike with a little bit of pedaling. That way it kind of saves some of the battery on you. And guys, let me know down in the comments if you own a Huck and you have one of the up graded sexy seats let me know what you guys think about yours and uh what what do you guys like about this seat so far i'm loving the color like it goes really well with the frame and the tank and everything i thought the white uh camo was gonna throw it off but man i really love it stop here and check it out again oh yeah that looks awesome Yeah, it definitely works. It's like a gray, black, and white camo. Dig it. Check out those birds. They're like diving underwater and then popping up like way further than from where they dove under. That's pretty cool. And guys, if you guys have any suggestions on any kind of modifications you want to see me do on the bike, let me know down in the comments below. Um, I actually was thinking about getting those Ego Boost shocks that they, uh, they have at Huck Cycles because I feel like the suspension could be a little more squishy or something. Like I want, I want more of that dirt bike feel. I know you can adjust it. Um, you gotta use some kind of special tool to adjust the suspension that comes stock on the bike. But from what I heard, uh, those Ego Boost shocks, uh, they look awesome and I heard really good things about those. So I'm gonna hit up Brett and just see uh, what they cost, just buying them outright since I can't upgrade it now since I already have the bike, but we'll see what happens. Uh, just let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see that upgrade happen. I'm thinking about doing a different battery. As you guys know, the, the bike comes standard with a 30 amp hour battery, 72 volt, of course. I uh, saw so somebody actually messaged me and they said uh, light speed. I think it's called light speed that they have a 72 volt 70 amp hour battery but it's like two thousand dollars i'm gonna see if i can save up for that hopefully i can get some good range on that battery but let me know down in the comments if you want to see that upgrade also i don't know if uh you guys want to see the headlight upgraded or anything like that like i told you guys if you guys live somewhere that's like super dark these lights aren't as bright as i think they could be so I was thinking about upgrading the headlight. If you guys have any links down below for the headlights, uh, just drop me one, I'd like to check them out. But so far, I'm like super duper happy with this bike. Let's see how many miles we got on it. I've put 188 miles on the bike. 
e-moped, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And it, it's been a great journey so far, a lot of fun. I'm still keeping it under, you know, 25 miles an hour because I don't have it registered yet. I'm still waiting for the bill of sales. Supposedly it's going to be headed here pretty soon. So the, the one thing that's crazy is in Delaware, anything that goes over 25 is considered a motorcycle then. So if I do want to register this, I have to register as a motorcycle if I want to go faster than 25. I'm kind of torn between doing it as a moped and just keeping it 25 and under or should I go the motorcycle route and that way I can go faster on the highway. But if I go the motorcycle route and I can go faster, the 30 amp hour battery is not gonna be too good for the speeds that I'm gonna be doing on the highway or on the roads or anything. I won't be able to get that much range on it. But we'll see what happens once I get that bill of sale and uh, I'll let you guys know. And guys, I guess I never told you guys I got the, uh, the dust blockers or the dust guards. So I think that adds a nice cool little aesthetic to it. So that was one of the upgrades I actually got. I never told you guys I got this. So I'm pretty stoked with how that came out and just the look of it makes it look pretty cool. Very aesthetically pleasing. I really dig it. There's like one thing that kind of wish they would do, maybe get some stronger brackets for, for the speedometer since you see how it shakes. So when you're hitting bumps, it's kind of shaky. I feel like that, that could break at some point. But if you guys have any kind of modifications or or any ideas of something I could do to make that, you know, a lot more sturdy, drop a comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys think about that. Oh, and I've had people asking me about that sticker. Uh, I got that from Marv. Uh, his girl actually prints uh, stickers. So I asked her to make me a class two electric bike sticker just so I don't get messed with too much by the cops. So nice and big and, you know, you can see that from pretty far away. And I've been having people ask me about the EL panel. If you guys are new to the channel, this is an electroluminescent panel. It's powered by a 9-volt battery I have under the tank there. Uh, I have a link down below from Amazon if you guys want to check that out. They come in different colors. This is a green one. They have white and like a pinkish red one and a blue, I'm pretty sure. And I ended up just putting the Hux stickers on there. And man, it looks so cool at night. I'm, I'm just going to keep that on there forever just because I really, really love the look of that. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. It's uh, on my last video. You can see it glowing at night for that little Christmas ride ahead with the homies. All right, guys, we're going to get back on the bike, ride a few miles, and then we'll just see how the seat feels after a few more miles. But so far, I'm really loving this seat. Look at that. The diamond pattern in the front and kind of like a straight pattern in the back. And I'm guessing you could probably hook your, your helmet on here or something. I never knew what that's for. But let me know down in the comments if you guys know what this little strap is for. Cool looking though. Let's get a little bit of speed guys. I know it's going to sound windy, but oh yeah, definitely digging the, the seat so far. Super comfortable. I like how it like kind of conforms to your biscuits. <laughs> it's definitely a good seat guys. Go over some bumps. Oh yeah. Didn't feel that too much at all. Let's go back to mode one. Ride around a little bit more just to feel it out. Yeah, it definitely conforms here, but like pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, so stoked. I'm wondering why the seats are so different. Like this one has like the bolts that you put into it and the other one had the nuts that you put onto the seat. So I don't know why they did that. Drop a comment down below if you know the difference between the seats or why they're made like that. I guess they're all made different depending on where they get them from. I love this little bridge, it looks so cool. Hey guys, if you guys have an older Huck um, there's supposedly something I saw on Facebook that there's like a new bracket for the front uh, brakes where you're supposed to get more bite on the, uh, on the rotor. But I hit up Huck and asked them if I had the old or new bracket, but they said I have the newer bracket. So let me show you guys what that looks like also. Supposedly it gives you more room to get more bite on that rotor. Very cool looking rotor too, by the way. Oh, I'm digging this seat though, guys. So much new construction down here at the beach. Guess a lot of people have been moving out of the cities and coming 
to the beach towns like New York, there's supposedly a, like some kind of mass exodus I'm hearing about. It's definitely showing down here because there's definitely more people this year than there were last year. Oh man, I definitely enjoy the torque on this, guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure um, you guys keep a lookout on my channel for a new bike I'm getting made by Wicked Thumb. I'll throw a little picture right above my head here. Um, it's like kind of like an old school chopper style looking bike. It's 750 watt hub. It's got a 17 and a half amp battery. So it's, I think it's a, it's a 48 volt 17 and a half amp battery. And top speed on that thing is about 28 miles. But they they say try not to use the throttle as much. It's meant for more pedaling because if you do use the throttle, you might end up uh, getting less range, which you'll definitely end up getting less range. But it's uh, rated to go up to about 45 miles of range if you pedal the bike. But once I get that bike, I'll be doing a lot of range tests on that. I'll be doing throttle only, pedal only, all the different modes, and I'll show you guys. And then I'll also be getting the, uh, the beach tires for that bike too. So I'm gonna be riding on the sand a lot. Hopefully they'll give me the rear rack on there so I can throw my drone on there. I wanna bring my drone on the beach to follow me to show you guys some cool cinematics of that. That, that, that would be pretty fun. Whoa. I definitely don't expect the torque on this thing sometimes when you, when you one arm it. <laughs> it feels like it's gonna throw you off. This thing is strong. Oh guys, and like I always said, if you guys are in the area of Lewis Beach, Rehoboth Beach, Dewey Beach, just give me a shout um, down here on the comments or find me on Instagram or Facebook and we'll go out for a ride if you guys have an e-bike or anything. I'd like to check out your e-bike, test it out, um, and just show you all the cool trails around here. I love meeting new people. And I want to thank all the subscribers, all the recent subscribers that have been hitting up my channel. You guys are awesome. I want to thank the past, present, and future subscribers for enjoying the content on my channel and just, you know, being interested in, in what I have to say to you guys. And if you guys have any, um, any comments about anything you want to see me do, drop a comment down below. Um, anything you think I'm doing wrong, drop a comment ba down below. I uh, always want to know others' opinions and uh, just see what people think you know, about everything that I'm doing. I'm very interested. Hey guys, check out what I found out. So I'm on mode three, right? And I'm giving it all throttle. So that, that's pretty good torque, right? But I didn't know that you actually get the torque on the low end too, holding that super secret button. So, whoa, the front actually <laughs> lifted up a little bit right there. So that's a cool new thing I just found out. Awesome, I dig it. This bike is so great. Oh guys, if, if you're gonna be receiving this bike pretty soon, uh, the regen braking is pretty good. I like it. Um, not for the fact that it gets you a lot more battery back, just for the fact that you won't waste your, your brakes that bad because you can just kind of lightly hold it and then you can feel the, the hub kind of slowing down by itself. It's pretty awesome. Like the brakes aren't grabbing. Actually, let's kind of ride in the grass and see what it feels like with the seat. Oh man, so soft. <laughs> These knobby tires, the standard tires that I have, dude, they're, they're so awesome. Very grippy. I haven't ridden them in the rain yet. I, this parking lot, guys, like this kind of blacktop is so slippery. One day when I was riding home on my RX coming through that way, going that way, I was kind of going quick and I was turning and I felt the back kind of drifting, drifting, drifting. I almost ate it. And, uh, yeah, so this blacktop is super slippery. And, and one day when it was raining, I was on my, I think my one wheel pint and it, it was all wet here. I ended up jumping off this curb. And when you jump off, off curbs with the one wheel, sometimes the wheels go backwards, like really fast. So I landed and I just slid out and I smashed my wrist so bad and ate it. So I guess it depends on the kind of blacktop you're on. Look at that, <laughs> litter bugs. So some blacktop is slipper, more slippery than other, but I don't know how the, these knobby tires will hold up on, on this slippery blacktop. I'm thinking it'd, it'd be pretty good. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed that short video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I really love talking about e-bikes and I, I just love e-bikes in general, e-mopeds, e-bikes. 
even e-scooters. If there's anybody out there interested and want me to feature your bike, your moped, your scooter, like anything you got and you want to send it out to me, I'll test it out and I'll, I'd love to review it. So just reach out to me. My email address is down below. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I definitely love to test out anything you guys want to send me. So guys, don't forget Wicked Thumb is coming up next pretty soon. I'm really excited to try out that bike. Right now, Ron, I think Ron's the owner. He's hit me up and we're going to be talking about customizations on the bike. I'm going to get, uh, you know, different seat, maybe. I don't know if I want the ape, uh, I think they call them ape hangers or ape hanger handlebars. They got ape hanger handlebars and everything. So a bunch of cool mods. You can get them to pinstripe your bike, which is awesome. So hopefully I'll be uh, having that bike pretty soon. Uh, I'm thinking of sometime in January, maybe end of January. And my Super 73 RX, I'm getting another one. Like I told you guys, I sold my last one. That one should be coming in January or February. So I can't wait to get that back and start doing jumps again, man. Cause I really, really miss hopping curbs and doing jumps and everything. So if you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. I'll see you on the next Huck and Ride.